Hey guys, GT2King here back today with another video and I know I said I was gonna be making the last um, Steambot tutorial, I thought I would just make another one and maybe a few more in the future because I thought of some useful ideas that I've been getting questions about and I just wanted to make a tutorial because it's a pretty easy concept and from now on I'm just gonna be trying to explain it by showing you guys what I mean like with modules and everything so I'm just gonna be going through the Steam user and in today's episode we're gonna be discussing how to accept friend and group invites so I got asked this yesterday and I thought I would just make a video on it because it's a feature that a lot of people want in their bots and it's not the easiest thing to do it's quite easy but if you don't know what you're doing or you're just pretty new to it it's just pretty hard to do so I'm just gonna try and explain it the best I can and you guys could just go from there so to start things off we're gonna look for the friend relationship so let me just get down here so as you can see this is I don't know what these are called like methods I think or events so whenever it's like client dot on whatever happens it'll emit specific info and then you could use that info to do other things so basically we could just type like client dot on friend relationship which is what it was and since oh there's not a comma there the comments after we it's just an empty function just so we could tell it what to do and then we just want to oh no it's not an empty function it actually emits let me show you guys friend relationship it emits these two um callbacks um sid which is like the steam id of the person that's sending you the friend request and relationship which is a value from this so it'll t it'll have like a specific number which has a specific characteristic that tells steam what the friend request is basically and you could tell your bot to do something based on that so what I'm saying is if we do like SID and relationship in the function down here we could go like if the relationship which is what the value is from the steam relationship is equal to steam user dot e friend relationship dot request recipient which as you guys could see here it's the value to and that this just means when you are getting the friend request from somebody so whenever if like the relationship of the person that's on your friend list is equal to them sending you a friend request so you like receive their friend request you could do you could either decline it which is client dot like remove friend and SID but since we're gonna be focusing on adding uh, we have to put some of these here and we could just type like console.log we receive a friend request from plot from and then we just like add their steam ID so we're just gonna keep it like that and we're also gonna accept their friend request so we just have to type like client dot add friend and which friend the steam ID that was emitted from friend relationship so we just define that there and it it will add the person basically so as you guys could see let me just go back what was it friend add friend so it was basically that easy and as you could see we could do callback and the error which actually I'll show you guys how to do as well so you guys could see their name and we'll just type like function name and error so name let me just put a comma there as well whoops and then we could just do like if there was an error we'll just console.log the error and it'll just return if there was an error otherwise we'll just do console.log accepted user with the name of I don't know something like that and it'll like say it accept that person with this name and that's basically it it's not that hard of a concept and it's pretty similar with group invites as well so let's just start get jumping on group invites as well it's group relationship for groups and the value is from e clan relationship so it's a bit different it has different names but it's still the same concept so we could pretty much just copy the code most of it whoops and we'll just copy the code from we'll just copy all of it and you guys could just use this code down like below or I'll have a link to the code below and now what we want to do is get group client on group relationship 
And what are the callbacks? So I'm just going to do this interactively. So it's SID and relationship. And let me just close that so it stops popping up. Oh, it still pops up. So let me close my Sony Vegas real fast. There we go. So I could just browse through and SID and relationship. So we, they're the same thing as friend invite. So we're just going to keep that there. So function, if the relationship is equal to Steam E clan relationship this time. And in E clan relationship, it's in the enums folder. If you guys don't know, we want if we're invited to the group. So if we're invited, that's the value two. You could put in like two, or you could just, or I think you could just type two, or you could just type invited, which I think is like easier. It's easier to read. So then we could type. Um, we were asked to join steam group number and it'll have like the group id 64 instead of the steam id 64 for the user and we could just do client dot it's not add group it's actually called respond to group invite so it's fairly easy there's no error or names of the group which is and it's not that bad but let me just remove this and whoops we'll just type client dot respond to group invite now the group steam id is the sid in the callback and accept if you want to accept invites you could just type true if you don't you could type false and if you don't if you don't even put this in it'll just like ignore them but we're going to be accepting them and yeah so it'll join the group basically with that and i think i actually missed one of these yep so now we're perfectly syntaxed and everything is ready. But now this only happens when this is emitted when the bot's online only. So if you like receive a friend request while the bot crashed or something happened and it was just offline, Steam service could have went down. It won't actually show the, it won't actually get the friend request because this only is emitted when you're online. So we're going to be doing something that checks if someone added you while you were offline. So all you have to do is it's basically the same thing. It's still an event. So, and the event is like friends list and this emits your whole friend list after when you log on to steam and groups list is the same thing just with groups. So if you go, if you go like f on group or no, let's start with friends list. It's client to on friends on friends list. This is the empty function. We want it to check for the variable SID in client dot my friends, which is basically an array of all your friends. Just it gives you the steam IDs of all your friends. So it'll like accept it and based on like what you tell it to do. So, so for the variable steam ID in client dot my friends, we want to define a relationship just so we could call this function right here. So the variable rate relationship is client dot my friends and we're going to put it into array because there could be more than one person that's added you offline and we're just going to basically just copy this code again. So let me just find where it is. Okay. So if relationship and we'll just copy all of this actually and we'll just paste it in right there. I think everything is perfectly syntax. Yeah. And that's all you have to do. And it's the same thing with groups. So let's just do that as well. So client dot on group invite. No, no. What I'm saying group list. Whoops. We want to call an empty function again. And now we want to type for the variable SID in client dot my groups instead of my friends. We want to define a relationship again, which is, um, whoops, what am I doing? Client dot my groups with an array of SIDs. If you have multiple group invites and now we can just copy the same thing again. So we're going to copy it from there to there and just paste it underneath. And that's basically ready. So now let's just get to testing. I have my bot ready. Let me just close that window. And let's just go back to our tutorial bot and run node bot. So theoretically it should work perfectly. My bot's new name. So I do have it added. We're just going to pull this window over here. We're going to remove it and then friend it again. So it's currently removed. And as you guys just watch the console, once we add it, it says we received a friend request 
and it accepted a user with the name of my name basically so it gets emitted whenever you add it now we could also invite it since we've added it we can invite it to a group so let's like let's just choose a random group and whatever let's click that one and in our console it says we were asked to join the steam group of that I don't have any console commands to say we joined it you could just like add console.log join the group but I'm not gonna do that because you already know if it's gonna join or not so yeah that's pretty cool and now let me test if like the bot set let's say is offline so we're gonna head to its profile again remove it and since it is offline it can't like check if someone's added it because it's not like an event that's happening in live time so let's just start up the bot again and oh here's what we could do actually so just so you guys know this is how it works we'll just put offline and offline and let's just add it here so you guys know if it's an on offline friend request it there's no difference to it but yeah let's just run it up again and as you guys could see it should say yeah offline we received a friend request and we accepted it offline so basically that's how you do it i'll have the code in the description i might actually have not i'll yeah i'll have a paste bin with all of this code if you guys do need any more help or you want any specific features let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one peace